Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. In this video, we'll be looking at what a re-entry permit is. Stick around for more. If you recently obtained a green card and you need to spend more than a year outside the US, you may be worried whether or not you will lose your green card by staying outside the US for too long. Generally, to maintain your green card, you should not spend extended periods of time outside the US, one year or more, unless intended to be a temporary absence, and you have notified immigration of this absence. If you need to spend an extended period outside the US and you are still in the US, you should apply for a re-entry permit. What is a re-entry permit? If you have a green card and you plan to spend more than a year outside the US you should apply for a re-entry permit. A classic scenario is when a green card holder gets an offer of employment outside of the US and they want to work in another country for some period of time, without abandoning the green card. The purpose of the re-entry permit is to establish that even though you are leaving the US for more than a year, you do not intend to abandon your green card. If you do not apply for a re-entry permit and stay outside the US for more than a year, you may be considered to have abandoned your green card. If your re-entry permit is approved, it will be valid for two years. When and how should I apply for a re-entry permit? You need to apply for a re-entry permit before you leave the US. You will need to file Form I-131 with USCIS and once you leave the US, you will not be able to file this form. After you file Form I-131 with USCIS, you will need to attend your biometrics appointment. If you need to leave the US urgently, you could leave after the biometrics. In this case, in the I-131 petition you should ask that the re-entry permit be mailed to a consulate abroad. If you don't need to leave urgently, you will receive the re-entry permit on your US address. How long is the re-entry permit valid for? If approved, the re-entry permit will be valid for two years. If you need to stay outside the US for a longer period of time, you may apply for another re-entry permit. Generally though, if you have been outside the US for more than four years in aggregate, either since becoming a green card holder or in the past five years, the new re-entry permit will only be valid for one year. If you have lived outside the US for more than a year and you did not apply for the re-entry permit before you left the US, you could try applying for a SB1 returning resident visa at a consulate abroad. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.